Hello, okay with ladies the dark, and gentlemen. I'm um, Lobo nice again, bringing you episode together. six of the Sco Lobo Skyrim Let's Play. Um, like I said last time, I went and dropped off all my rubies, um, my emeralds, a few jewels, some jewelry that I will probably never ever use. Um, emptied my pockets and gave myself a um, 166 carry weight. I killed a wolf up here and got the wolf pelt making it 167 now. But yeah, let's get started. Um, so for starters, we have the Nightingale bow equipped. Um, it is the only bow we have on us right now. Um, it, uh, it freezes the targets for 20 points and shocks the target for 10. We have the Nightingale Blade, absorb 15 points of health and 15 points of stamina per second from the target. Then we have our Elven Shield, and then we have Binding Grail Armor. Increase your stamina by 30 points and increase frost resistance by 30%. Um, wearer is muffled and moves silently. Lock picking is 20% easier, one handed attacks do 20% more damage. Illusion spells cost 15% less, less to cast. Um, I got this off of the wolf I killed. And, well, that's it, huh? Moves, boots, gloves, boots. And being as we have a complete set of armor, um, a perk skill um, gives us an additional 25 points of protection. So I'm going to level up right fast, and we are going to level up the health. And ooh, a double level, level up. Um, let's level up that health again. Um, it's page 57. I wonder why that's. I know that that green means something. Well, let's see what we can do in lock picking. Golden touch. Find more. Yeah, we will definitely want to find more gold. Oh, and I have 6,000 gold stashed away in the um, chest at the moment. At the house, um, arrows stagger all, all but the largest opponents 50% of the time. Let's do that. So we are at the twi. We have discovered the Twilight Sepulchre. Is where I started the video. A nice little grove. It's quite the challenge to get up here. Um, just along. I had Shadowmere, so it wasn't all that hard. But just a really, really long trek. Aw. Poor Serana can't follow us in here. So that means we get to do everything on our own. And then this guy is not hostile, so let's run up to him. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? You sense that you're one of us? Um, I'm kind of in your armor, so that should make it quite apparent to you. I'd ask the same question of you. The last of the Nightingale sent Casper. I've defended the sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. Well, yeah, because you can't die no more. The last? What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. How are you to blame, Casper? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Wait a moment, you're Galius. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Or Gallus. How do you know of me? I have the key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey... Can you even see? You are a ghost after all. Dead. Then... It's over. And my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. I did this to get rich. Yeah, no. Um... We could... I wonder what his response would be. Maybe maybe I'll do another series where I just give all the perp intentional wrong answers. Um, 
I did this to honor the guild. You've done the guild a great deal. Which is and the truth. I didn't really do it for nocturnal. Sure. Me, I'm myself, and the real world. I didn't do it to honor the guild. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlia helped me. Carlia? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Then take the key and right all the wrongs. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. I was about to ask the same thing. How can a spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Then I'll have to proceed alone. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. Can't you just take the key? Whatever is affecting the Nightingale Sentinels is starting to affect me, too. As I get closer to the Ebonair, I begin to feel myself slipping away. Even right this moment, I feel strange when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. Good luck, Nightingale. I'm going to take just a minute, and we're going <laughs> to... Sudden changing plans, ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing some... Oh, that looks just like orc. We are experiencing some technical difficulties. Slovo has decided to go on an ore searching quest. I wonder if anyone else has just decided to come run check around over here. Because I don't really think that there is really all that much in here. But there may be a hidden chest somewhere over here, which I'm really hoping I find. Search. Nice dome. We'll take all of those. And what is this? Glass war axe of harrowing. Huh. Uh, well, you guys, we did get a little something out of that. I feel quite accomplished now. I uh, I feel like ten million bucks. Is that a fair? Oh, that's good. Alrighty, let's get on with it. Do, 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 the last time I did this, I just kind of rushed right through. I want to take some time and actually explore the cave. Then right in here, let's get the boat ready. There is a nightingale. Ah, right there, you see her. There's that nightingale sentinel. And she is kind of a witch to destroy, if you get what I mean. Let's breathe in and... Does someone live among the dead? Why didn't I hit her? Did it just... 
just fly right through. Nothing, nothing. slit her throat, but she doesn't really have a throat to slit now, does she? But I think that killing her this way. She's not in pickpocket and she's got some ghostly arrows. Let's try this and one, two, three. Mortal fool, no one hides from the dead. Yeah. blood on a sword from a ghost. Well, would one of you please explain that? I've got blood on my sword from a ghost. Ah, some things I will just never understand. Well, I, I didn't want to read the book. I wanted to take this gold. Um, yeah, but whenever you got, um, something I have to tell you guys, um, whenever you do come to any of these caves, do look around, because you do find some pretty good items, like extended invisibility, pickpocketing, um, some bloody skulls, <laughs> poison, cure poison, don't need void salts, take some cure disease, just run over here, <sighs> ooh, I think there was one guy in here too, yep, we'll take that, you don't need the linen wrap. Hmm, he's doing some alchemy. Look at this, a silver ingot. A free silver ingot. What was he reading? Hmm, the last time I read that book, it actually gave me something worthwhile. Oh, and there's a door right there. I think after we get to the final location, we come in that door. Right up on it, man. They all sound like mine. Again, blood on the sword from a ghost. How inspiring. <laughs> I sense a presence. You sense my presence. <laughs> Poisonous arrow. But as a vampire, I'm resistant to poison. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta walk around this way. Boy, what a lovely fall. Maybe maybe next time I do a let's play, let's ooh. Powers, the vampire sight, and still can't see squat. I don't get why the DVD is the one that's easy enough to 
weight. Now, if they were to angle them up at all, I've got to walk right in the middle, otherwise we'll get burned. Okay, now let's see. No Draugr, but there is a Yearn. We'll take those for sure, for sure. Take... Don't need an Elven Greatsword. chain or something I'm not seeing. I remember struggling with this last time. Do I have to like <laughs> Lady Azura? Maybe I took a wrong turn. No, it don't look like it. I did pretty well. Don't look like those guys have anything wrong with them. Wooden plate. Ah, here we are. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. Holy cow, that was close. I wonder if this goes to the other side of that iron door. A uh, shovel. Where does this go? There's another Nightingale Sentinel, good to know. I'm using the Skeleton Key as... It won't break. I might have to go back. And to that master door. Because that is kind of a nice... I now understand... Are you serious? <laughs> we just went in a nice little circle. Mm, anything good down there? 
some wine, a satchel, it looks like, some poison over there. Um, let's see what we got on this table, a corpse, it looks like a dagger or an embedding tool. Um, some coins, there's a coin purse right there. Um, looks like a map or a collectible for Delvin over there. Nightingale Sentinels. I'm going to go down here and just try and sneak by them first. I sense hmm. a presence of someone among the dead. Mortal fool! No one hides from the dead! Recharge this right there. Oh, wow. yeah. The heck am I doing? That's actually what I did, but we'll just we'll just go with it. Oh well, yeah, I was already over here, so I was over here. Yep, so now we can just run and check this place out. Okay, yeah, let's just go over here too. Okay, from this way. Wow, there are probably a lot of things I could have done differently, isn't there? Probably sitting there on your phones or whatever, going dirt to dirt. Huh. Proper lock design, huh? Let's come check this out. Two elven arrows as well. Pretty good, pretty good. Got some ales. Um, firewood. You could actually use firewood for making them. Take that gold, that gold, and that gold. We don't need a troll skull. We will take that coin purse and that gold. Uh, we don't need no ruined books. Take a ruby. And take that orange dagger. What do we got down here? We're not reading any of these.
help me and the answer to that is no. What do we got here? What is this? I don't know. I think that's about to. No, found another version to shop. I think that's about all we can get out of here. You guys think? Yep, I think so too. So, let's go this way. And then turn this way. And then turn this way. And then turn this way. And we can turn your arm and Inner sanctum. Excuse me. Was I supposed to fall in that? Is there like no way? Don't be a wussy wee! <coughs> Search Anders. Read Anders' message while we're waiting. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all those ridiculous riddles just to end up here after I memorized Nystron's clues he'd collected from Lyphilis. I slit his throat. Oh! Um, that's that skeleton we found um, right after we talked to that um, ghost at the gate. To Gallus. Um, Nitrons? Nitrons? That skeleton we found? That Because I thought I'd find nothing? That's him. Um, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see my way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. So, yeah, um, this journal. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. We just got lucky with that. Alrighty. I don't know why, why I let... I'm just going to kind of um, skim through this, so if you don't... Pause the video if you want to re read it. Um, I don't know why I let Andrews talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches, but I have yet to see even a single gold coin. To make matters worse, I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we're posing as priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leave nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As in, a slit type. Uh, I'll slit up. I've been assigned a mentor. Old Dark Elf fellow by the name of Lithius. Maybe if I act the part, I can pray.
place skeleton key. My much. What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on. Let's the change world, my outfit. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me, awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected, and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Seat you with the king stay this time, won't you? What are you doing here? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Pleased? She sounded indifferent. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful. If I remember correctly, she said that she could not accompany me here. So what was she doing standing here the whole time? Had she been displeased with you? We wouldn't be having this conversation. What's this about becoming an agent of a nocturne? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of shadow, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. Why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. So what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. So she is now part of the Thieves Guild again, for those of you who didn't catch it. The beginning. She has been forgiven for what she did not really do. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Oh yeah. Tell me about the Agent of Stealth. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Tell me about the Agent of Strife. This agent of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. Hmm, we could probably use that one. <coughs> what about subterfuge? The agent of subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. I think we will go with either one of these two. I'm gonna, I tried the Agent of Stealth last time, um, 
they don't work all that well. Um, granted, this is Skyrim redone, so but I'm trying to go try the Agent of Strife. Your path, and your journey will be complete. We won't step on that one. We won't step on that one. Agent of Strife. Oh, this is sub subterfuge. Can I? Oh. Gallus. I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Oh, how sweet. They were lovers. Need help? Yep, I did. If you mind the great first, you want me to go on the great first story. Could you go straight to it? Yep. Yes, Nightingale. What is it? And just like that. So, I think next time we'll just go and explore a few random caves. But, until then, we are now Nightingale. Um, I hope to see you next time, and I hope you've enjoyed.